Hi and welcome to Toya Creates. My name is Toya Edit. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create leader dots in InDesign. Leader dots are basically those dots that you find between your table of contents item and your page number. Now, leader dots can actually be used anywhere you deem fit, but uh, most of the time you find it in your table of contents. So to get started, what we're going to do is that we're going to go to the table of contents we would have already created. In this case, I have a table of contents right here that I created in a tut an earlier tutorial, which you can find uh, somewhere on the cards above. So first of all, I can I will just uh, place my cursor where I want to have my um, my leader dots can be anywhere within the space where I want to uh, create it. Then I press my Control and Shift T to bring up the tab. So once I bring it out at this edge, I just drag it to fill up the space. So what I do is that I create a tab stop. Any of the stops will be okay. It doesn't really affect it. So uh, first of all, I put a dot here or any character for that matter. Then I click on any of the uh, stops. I can click here and I have it. Any of these stops can do. So it doesn't really matter. So once I have that, I have my um, leader dots have been applied all through. So I can adjust by adding space. If I just uh, right here in front of the dot, I can put space and I tab out. I see that the leader dots have been extended. So I'm done with that and I close this. So what I do next up, I go and since I see that my TOC is already um, affected by a change because of this um, change that I did, the leader dots that I added. So what I just do, I just right click and redefine. I see it applies all through the table of content items. Now I can actually style these uh, leader dots the way I want. I could go to the first one. I could go and reduce the font size. And you see, as I'm reducing it, I have more dots, but smaller dots. I can do whatever I want with this. So once I've done that to automate it, to cascade to all other um, table of content items, what I just do is that I make sure this selected new character style. I can just give it the name dots and I click OK. So once that is done, if you notice, I didn't have to um, apply it. Let me go back there, right click, edit. You see that I've not, this is not checked. Apply style to selection is not checked. So once I have that, what I do is that I go to my layout, table of content styles, and this is the table of contents uh, style that I am using. I go to edit and right here where I have between entry and number, I go to the style and I click on dots. I click OK, OK. Zoom out. So what I just do is that the table of contents is selected. I go back to layout, update table of contents. And you see that it has applied it to all the entry items. So that brings us to the end of today's tutorial. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe because every week I bring you new videos. Do take care and catch you in the next one.